This week on The People Project, we follow a small-time amateur pornography house which is beginning the remake of the first epic porn film from the 70s that was never completed after the director had a heart attack halfway through shooting. This small pornographic house was recently contacted by the widow to do a finished version, slightly updated for today's discerning market. Could you explain your position and what it is you're trying to do here? Well, my name is Timothy Rogering, and this here is the headquarters of the remake of Little Soldier Boy in Space, which is a pornographic movie that was originally filmed in 1977 in this small European country of East Pakistan, but of course set on the moon in 2010. Sadly, the original was only ever half finished because the director, Deluc Sidor, who I cannot express what a great man he was. He died from a heart attack halfway through the production. Days after his death, his studio was also burnt down to the ground. It was a terrible shame. Something to do with some exotic oils accidentally mixing together with explosive results. Now only a small piece of the footage remains, sadly. I've just been talking to some of the other people, and they tell me that you actually come from a long line of pornographers? Yeah. I was just wondering if being on a set like this it brings back any memories for you? Oh, you know, it's great. It's bringing back so many memories of my youth for me. You know, both my parents, they were in porn, so... I was growing up on the sets all the time. All the little toys and such, they, they were my toys. That is until, of course... My mother, she ran off with up there. That was when I was five years old. Two weeks later, of course, my father also ran off with him. The only pictures I have of them now is one of their movie posters. And of course, I have all of their feature movies on video. I watch them when I get lonely. Or when I'm horny, eh? You know what I'm saying. So what does your job with One Member Productions entail? Me, I am the sound technician and composer for One Member Productions. In the industry, I am referred to as the John Williams of Pawn. Wow, that must be quite an honor. Not really. It's my real name. But seriously, the soundtrack, I believe, is one of the most important parts of a film. It really carries the emotion of the film where words cannot. There's a part in the film, Porn on the 4th of July, in which a woman's face is physically saying that she is worried. But the music, which I shall play you now, is saying quite the opposite. Doesn't sound like worry to me. So, for most of the movies that I'm involved in, I try to create something special. For Little Soldier Boy, I'll be sampling some of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony and laying down the drum and bass tracks beneath it. Like this. Whoopsies, like this. Kicking the funk, you know? Mix it up a little. I think it really works well. Well, how do you manage sound quality on your productions? Well, good question. People don't realize it, but most of the sounds on films these days are replaced using AR, ADR. I'm sorry, ADR. For most of the love scenes, I use farm animals, which I then filter. These are some spine that I've used. I mean, sampled and then used. <laughs> And this one? <laughs> that is my personal favorite. Let's see how to do it. <laughs> and finally. And then, when I get them filtered, I add the music and I sound like this. <laughs> I, uh, I embarrass myself. Sometimes the sounds don't filter properly. I know in the film Doing Miss Daisy, there's a scene where you can hear the sound of a South African swallow, but nobody has known the difference, you know? For the final one, here I've got an example of a sampled equine, if you'd like to hear it. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
I tell you, if you weren't in the industry, you would not tell the difference. If it's that damn good. Ivanov? What's this you're doing now? Well, today we are holding auditions so we can make up the cast of Little Soldier Boy in Space. Shouldn't Rogering the director be here to do this? Well, you know, normally he is a very hands on director, but unfortunately today he is getting a lengthening. So he could not. Excuse me. Come in, please. Hi. Well, hello. Hello. My resume? Thank you. Opal, is it? So, Obert, have you had any acting experience? Not really, but I have been in three corners. Anything with no? Um, two pretty obscure ones, which I did with my boyfriend, but um, that was really just to give to his friends. And the last one was Flashdown. Oh, now I know you. You are very good. You remember, don't you? We uh, saw that last Christmas Eve, wasn't it? Oh, yes, yes. I remember now. Uh, you had a line in that, didn't you? No, I, I was background dancer three. But I did have the highest socks. Oh, that is very impressive. All right, well, um, thank you for yeah. coming. Um, we'll make our choice by tomorrow, and we'll be sure to get back on top. Um, back on back, back to you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Enter, please. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Please take a seat. Certainly. Very impressive. Can you sum up in your own words? Like, what is your experience in these graphic arts? Well, I've actually worked on 20 products. 20? That is very impressive. Can you name for me some of these films? Well, ones like Your Sexuality, Make Your Own Choice, and um, Body Change, Give It Time. This sounds like sex education videos to me. Yeah, it's well, I'm willing to make the change if you give me the chance. Well, it is good that you are looking to better yourself within this industry. Can you tell me, what are some of these roles that you have played? Well, I play John in the cleansing of John's herpes. Very tough mm -hmm. role, that. That would be very informative. I must get that out. Please, enter. Booyah! Oh yes, my word, that is very impressive. But do you have a resume for us? Oh yeah, yeah. There you go, guys. Well, we are thanking you. Okay, well, 47 films all under the by bone me last production neighbor. That's correct. Well, why is it that you want to work on this feature? Well, I'd like to expand my roles, see a few new kinds of films, meet a few new women. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a problem here. I see your typecast. All the movies you've done are about a subjugated prison SKP forced to have sex with the people giving them sanctuary. Hmm, I'm it's pretty it's sure we do not need anyone like that for this movie. I think not. No, no, I, I can play other roles, guys. I mean, I, I played uh, Lady Macbeth in my school's production of Macbeth. Hey, look, I look, people, out. we've never heard of this movie. I mean, come on, get out of here. We don't need this kind of information. Don't come back, all right? Oh, yeah! Yeah. So, uh, do you have any questions for us? No. Well, I am certainly impressed by your credentials. How about you, Jimmy? I can tell you something. I am very impressed, too. We are both very impressed. There is one thing, though. Could you stand up and turn around for us? Sure. Just give me a sec. Holy moly! Uh, is it 100% cotton? It certainly is. Hey, that is really soft. Oh, that is very impressive. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Uh, no, that is okay. Uh, but we will certainly be getting back to you to tell you if you got the door. Ah, uh, you forgot your zucchini. So how long does casting normally take? Well, actually, not very long at all. In fact, in this instance, we have already made our decision, which is to go with Opal and Bean as our main characters. Yes. They're very good. I will also be trying to get uh, Bud to play the other seven characters. Uh, we believe he is a very versatile fellow. Also, we will be getting him to be our assistant and sort of go for while the production is going. I've heard that you re-release some of your films. I was just wondering how that works. 
Well, we've only had one re-released, which was fucking Four Lines, and that was critically acclaimed. <laughs> but Tim had the idea after the original release, the Director's Cut Edition, and the Special Edition Director's Cut, to give the raw footage we shot to the other directors, and for them to make up their own version. We've had some pretty big names. <laughs> I oh my god, some big names. I believe to date it's about 27 times. I believe it is 27 times. We released, yes. We are very happy. Any directors I'd know? Well, um, Stanley Kubrick's version was quite good. Uh, it really made you think about why the Fräuleins were actually frolicking. Uh, and then there was Terry Gilliam's version, but that was never completed due to the production somehow running over time and over budget. And of course Spielberg's cut, but that, he just made it really crap. From that point on, we swore we would never work in another tour again. Alright, what's the deal? What is it? Where's that bastard Rogering? He is not here. What is your problem, eh? My problem is me getting paid 20 20 an hour. The minimum is 12.60. 10 20 is slave labor. We should be very happy that we are giving you this excellent chance. Well, there's no way I'm getting. I'm working for that much an hour. Find yourself another slave. I'm out of here. You never did any work anyway. Slave wages. I wish we could afford slave wages. Those bastards are expensive. In damn unions. In union for five years, I'm gonna take this kind of crap. Scabs go home. Scabs go home. Scabs go home. So, what are you really trying to achieve here? Scabs. Go. Home. See, we need to create more tension, I think. Make it more intense. Perhaps we could speed up the film or something. Okay. Make it a bit more... How you say... Erotesque. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. And then there. That is where our CGI character is going, is it not? Yeah. Has that been done yet? Jimmy Dudwan is still working on it. Get on to him about that post haste, okay? I hear it has really big breasts though! <laughs> okay, here in this scene we are trying to make the agony of the protagonist very clear. Uh, we originally had him crushing a can of a, a, a space beer, but Ivanov came up with the rose idea and I think it adds a little extra dimension to the scene. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, it that of beauty, good. the pain of destruction, as we see the tones of the rose cut into his hand, it's a beautiful thing. I think it is the best scene with that poontang that we have ever done. Oh, truly. I mean, it was marvelous to be a part of. Uh, this bit here, the zero-g sex scenes, they are just gonna blow this industry wide open. Oh, uh, then it will probably be remade into something even better. You know, possibly covered in chrome, I don't know. Oh yeah, chrome is great. Oh, here's your favorite part, isn't it? The latex Botox? Uh, no, no, um... This bit up here is uh, the motion capture. You wouldn't know to look at it, but we actually use motion capture for the uh, jiggling of the breasts of the women. Uh, it was, you know, technology these days is very good. I mean, most people would not be able to pick that they aren't real. But it makes it extra sexy. Oh yes, very, very good. <laughs>